What's up guys, I'm Rissom from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial on assembly programming. Now I'm going to talk about registers and how they work. Now I wanted to do a class on variables, but before we start variables I wanted to make sure you guys understood how registers work because they're very important. Now let's get started. Now up here, as you can see, this is the AX register. The AX register has 16 bits. Now, now the AX register is made up of two smaller portions, AH and AL. Each portion has 18 bits. A H stands for A high, A L stands for A low. Again, those two together make up A X. And now we have E A X. E A X is made up of A X with an added 16 bits to make it the 32 bits. So that's E A X. And the same thing with E B X. It's 32 bits, and 16 of those bits is the B X, which is broken up again into two smaller parts, which is B H. 8-bit, which is BH, 8-bit, which stands for B high, and uh, BL, 8-bits, which stands for B low, together make up BAX, add another 16-bits to that, you have a 32-bit register called EBX. Now again, the same thing with the ECX, you have 16-bits added onto CX, which is 16-bits, which is broken up into two pieces of 8-bit, CH is C high, CL is C low, each each have 8 bits. Now we're down to EDX. EDX has 16 bits added onto another 16 bits, which is DX. DX is broken up into two pieces, which is DH and DL stands for D high and D low. Each have 8 bits. And we have ESI, which is a 32 bit register, and EDI, which is also another 32 bit register. These here, these are the general purpose registers. Now underneath that we have the stack pointer which is ESP which is also a 32-bit register. And we have the base pointer which is EBP, another 32-bit uh, register. Here it describes what each one of these registers special purpose is. AX is for multiply slash divide, string load, and store. CX is for count for string operations and shifts. DX is for port address for ins and outs. BX is for index registers for move. P is for points at the top of the stack, BP is to point to the bottom of the stack, SI points to the source and stream operations, DI points to destination and stream operations. And we also have IP instruction pointer and, uh, and flags. Right, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give this video a like. And also, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.